Good morning. My name is uh, Kannan Mautgalya. I am a professor in chemical engineering. Um, I have been uh, asked by Professor Fatak to come and deliver this lecture on uh, LaTeX. Um, how many of you already use LaTeX? Everybody uses LaTeX. Who doesn't use LaTeX? Is there anyone who doesn't use LaTeX? So why are we doing this lecture? Or only people who know LaTeX have come? How many students are in the class? 19, okay. All right. So um, those of you who have been using LaTeX for let's say more than one year, can you raise your hands? More than one year, okay. More than five years? Okay. And then, so, people who just started using LaTeX, raise your hand. Are there some people? Okay. All right. So, I am happy that I did not come prepared because it would have been a waste of time had I come prepared. What I will do is, I will um, share some experience um, that I have had in uh, using LaTeX. So I have been using LaTeX at least for 15 years. Okay, it's something that uh, I don't claim to be an expert in the sense I don't write style files and you know things like that. But I'm very comfortable in using it, and in fact, it is very difficult for me to you know, to start using uh, uh, Word, for example, or LibreOffice Writer. Okay, how many of you use LibreOffice Writer? Writer? Yeah. So I find it difficult to do, and sometimes things don't work, and I have a tough time trying to figure out why things don't work. And of course, I always go to Google to find out the solution. Okay? Google works for um, LaTeX also. You know the basics, then as you experience it, as you use it, you see that your skills become better and better. More importantly, you find that there are a lot of things that the community has developed and left outside, left, left on the net. You can just download and use them. So I'm going to um, circulate uh, two books that uh, we wrote on LaTeX. Um, I haven't got the other two. So this is the book that I wrote uh, in 2007 and I took 10 years to write this book, okay? Based on the experience in teaching this course at IIT Bombay to our MTech students who come from various engineering colleges, who have various backgrounds. So I wanted to teach a course that will be good for all of them. Then I wanted to write this book. Of course, I delivered that course many times through CDEEP. It was transmitted. So for that, I created many slides. I created examples. I created pictures, drawings, and things like that. So in 2007, John Wiley and Sons, this was published at the UK office, and they got it reviewed at four different places, one reviewer in North America, one reviewer in Europe, third reviewer in continental, uh, second was in continental Europe, third was UK, fourth was um, Australia and Japan. So because this is for the international market, they thought it was okay. While writing, they also asked me, will you be able to give camera ready copies for this book? Um, I wasn't sure. In fact, one of my friends, one of my colleagues in electrical engineering said, uh, don't agree to that because they will want you to do a lot of, you know, precise adjustments because it's John Wiley and you may not be able to do, it will take a lot of your time. So I said, um, I cannot do the final correction, but I will do the, you know, more or less final. So then he said, the person whom I was negotiating with in John Wiley and Sons, he said, in that case, I won't give you all the money I have kept for writing this book. Okay, they, they do have some money. 
I'll give you only thousand pounds. Okay, other money I'm going to keep for final correction. But it turned out that they didn't have to make any changes. Okay, and I lost that other money because I did the whole thing. Okay, you will see. I'm going to circulate this book. You will see in every figure also. It has lots of figures, more than hundred figures. Um, probably it has thousand equations, right? Um, you can see in in figures also the symbols, mathematical symbols, are the same symbols as in the text. Obviously, you how do you create a figure? What software do you use to create a figure? Dia. Okay. Do you create a LaTeX output in that? because I have not used it, you will have to find out. Because one of the things that you would like to do is sometimes you have mathematical symbols, you have mathematical symbols in running text, right? And you say, see that figure and you want to see that symbol there. The output, variable, you know, some C or zeta. Does that symbol zeta in the figure same as the one in the text? Okay, if you do that, if you make them identical, it's something that somebody like John Wiley would want. Okay, those are the things that made very easy. And um, so this is one book which I'm going to pass around. And um, I can tell you that if I didn't use LaTeX, it would have taken many more years to write it. In fact, I can't imagine doing this in Word or liver of his writer and still making sure that it will be correct. It will be correct. All cross references will be correct. Right? So that, that I would not have been, and, and of course the get up. The second book that I wrote, uh, actually I made a promise to my wife after writing this book that I won't write another book. Okay? Because I took 10 years and I was there all the time. And in fact, my I feared that if I wrote another book, there will be a divorce at home. So I didn't dare write a book. Okay, but she was surprised that I wrote this book. She asked me, "When did you write this book?" She didn't even know this. I wrote this book along with my staff members. I think there are ten to twelve people, ten people here. They are all my staff members. We wrote this book in one week. We wrote this book in one week. It, of course, it just explains an EDA tool called OSCAD. We wrote a similar book on uh, Arduino, Arduino microcontroller. We wrote another book. That was that took a little longer, about maybe 10, 12 days, because that required quite a bit of validation of the hardware connection. But this one didn't have any of them. We had a software. We wanted to explain it, and we had 10 people. Then I said, look, we have to plan it out. One week, we will produce this book. So, so we pro formed a management team. And the work was allocated to various people. They will do this. This person will do this. This person will generate pictures and so on and so forth. But if I didn't tell you all the story, if you read this book, you will not know that it was written by 10 people. The consistency that you have in this book is amazing. I can tell you that there are no mistakes in cross-referencing, right? All figure numbers, table numbers, chapter numbers are exact. There are no mistakes, right? How does it work? He is writing, he is giving a chapter number, I am using it. He has got a figure number, somebody else is using it. But still it is correct, no mistakes. So it is possible with LaTeX. Okay, I can assure you that it is not possible with any other software. It may be possible, but it may require a lot of work. I want to ask you, uh, now that more people have come, is there anyone who doesn't use LaTeX here? Okay, so I think you should learn. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to circulate these two books. You can just have a look at it, pass it around. So this is one week book, this is 10 year book, okay?
don't i don't want you to understand anything don't want you to ask i'm we are not going to ask any questions on this just want you to see the type setting okay while we are going through this because you know all of you already know latex i'll tell one more story um in our mtech program i had an mtech student from uh, mumbai uh, i think bharti vidyapeeth or some college like this and he wrote the seminar report seminar report is compulsory in the first semester and he produced a terrible report had a tough time and i asked him why is it so bad so he said um he said oh it kept formatting it by itself what he meant was in word you connect it to a printer prints differently okay you open it and then open it you make some change it has changed everything subsequently and it has made lot of changes that's what he meant and he got a c c c i think in that but that means he just passed barely passed then i told him after the seminar so he came and talked to me i said that his performance wasn't so bad he did actually well his english was weak but nevertheless he did good amount of work i thought he deserved something better than a cc so i told him one of the problems is that you are unable to uh, uh, you know write it produce a good report because of the method that you have used um please use latex so i have i taught him to use latex and next presentation uh, i think it was the first stage he got an a and they said fantastic work how come you improved so much okay i know he improved okay and then so i always tell my students after that experience if you write your report in latex you get one grade higher minimum okay because of the get up and so on you can produce it in any other software also perhaps but that will require lot of work that will require lot of work you can do without that you can uh, do it fairly comfortably okay so i want uh, now from the audience i am going to ask you some questions now that you have used latex can somebody tell me what in your opinion is one powerful feature of latex any one of you can tell or a feature that you liked formula can be written easily right so you don't need another software for that all mathematical symbols can be written and for people who know programming it is very logical begin this end this and then open braces close braces for fractions powers all kinds of things okay very nice okay anything else cross referencing is very good what all who said that yeah what other what what all cross referencing have you done table number okay external reference meaning like internet citations citation okay for the references at the end of the book okay what else now customization will take up i want to finish this numbering so the book that i am passing around i told you that i have about 1000 equations okay i always ask people you have written a report with uh, let's say 100 sub equations and your guy asks you to remove the first equation okay now the numbering will start from 2 3 4 okay of course uh, the number latex will automatically change it to 1 2 3 1 but what was 2 has become 1 now what was 99 has become 98 now and so on right but what about referring to those equations in the text okay so you put a, a label and in the second pass it's a two pass compilation it compiles it first time assigns uh, values to all symbols in the second pass it picks up those values from the table and puts it right how many of you have used automatic uh, referencing or how many of you have not used automatic referencing is there anybody some of you you may want to use that okay so for example so if you say uh let's 
let us say you say something like g of s equals frac numerator power Okay, the moment you write an equations like this, then you say slash label. Now you put something, so that's where it's a variable that you create, and then you can refer to this. So, for example, if I say equation one, so my symbol is called equation colon one. Then I want to refer to it. So, what do you say in equation reference yeah transfer function g of s is defined so this is how i would write the text so what i have done is instead of calling it because I can compile it and see that the equation number is 1, I can refer to it, I can just say in equation 1, that will be the easiest thing to do. But if I do this, at the time of compilation, actually I do not know what number this equation is going to take, I am saying whatever number is assigned to it should be used here. Whatever number I define here should be used here. If it is chapter 1, dash 52, this will be chapter 1 dash 52. Whatever is defined here, whatever is assigned here will be used here. So, this equation numbering is extremely good. So, you can do this for, you can also say uh, this was defined in slash page ref slash ref um, so I think page ref I think this should not be there in the place of ref you say page ref slash page ref bracket equation colon 1 yeah, when I have a doubt I always go and check okay, there it is page ref ok page ref so that that is correct slash page ref then it will say in page. So, in fact, I would say in page, this is coming in page, page ref, right? That is how it will come. So, I can actually demonstrate this, ok. Begin document, begin equation, let us say g of s equals frac n of s d of s and equation just compile it first pdf latex test skim test dot pdf Remind me later. So I will hold it here and I can make it bigger. Okay. So, a very simple equation that I generated and it has an equation number 1. Okay. So, let me write. Uh, one more thing, equation array, right? Equation array, I have to put this, put this. I could have used align also, which is what I normally do in a S equals, let me just try if it works. Let take errors. Okay, it is not happy with this. 
I'm going to switch over to something that uh, I like. Let me use align. For this, I need a package called AMS Map. The same thing. Only thing is, I should not use. Okay. So, here is a simple thing. I am just using an environment called align. In order to define this environment, I have to use AMS math. That is a package I have to use. Okay. Anyway, we are discussing the numbers, numbering, automatic numbering. Okay. Let us say n of s is uh, n0 plus n1 s plus n2 s to the power 2 plus C dots. Okay. Okay, this is how it is coming, right? I'll keep it here. Is that okay? So now I can write it, modify it, compile it. It'll come here. So, so supposing I want to put uh, something like n underscore capital N s to the power capital N, save it, compile it and you see that you have got the new n n s to the power n, it comes. So, it is a very effective kind of a thing. You have to use a PDF viewer that remains the, keeps the focus on the same page because some will refresh or may not refresh. So, you will have to reload once again and you will have to go to that particular page which is a pain. So, use a PDF viewer which will keep the focus in the same place and will also refresh automatically. If you do that, then it is very effective. You make a change, see it immediately. Make a change, see it immediately. You can do that, right? Now, if I say in equation 2, uh, the numerator transfer function is defined okay in equation 2 the numerator transfer function is defined actually i can stretch it a little bit i have more space here okay so we can see that okay what happens if i get rid of this first equation so your guide says get it out of the first equation. And now it has become 1 here, it has become 2 here. So, what do we do? This when we put the label. So, we say uh, slash label equation 2. So, then I say in equation reference equation 2. Okay. So, I see that I put a label there. So, the label is assigned a value in the first compilation. PDF LaTeX is the compilation process and in the second time it is assigned. So, let me compile it. Okay. Now, it says that it is not defined yet. Okay. Now, it is 1. Equation 1, the numerator transformation is defined. What I will do is now I will get rid of this. I will compile it. Okay, it says 1 now because this is the value in the symbol table previously. I compile it once more and it picks it. It picks it, right? So, this is a very powerful feature. Of course, the page ref is another one that I told you. Let me add that. These, this equation is defined in page page ref equation 2. This is no big deal because the whole thing is quarter page. Okay? I need not give page, I know page number, it is in 1, but imagine you are writing your thesis, sometimes it is useful. One of the things that in my book I said, uh, who has that book, Digital Control? Okay. I said anything I refer to within last 2-3 pages, I will just say go and see it. 
but anything above 10 pages i will always say defined in page number this to make it easy for the reader right it's a you know 500 page book 600 page book and you refer to uh, something defined 200 pages ago people have a tough time turning over and later gives is free of cost doesn't cost anything okay so automatic numbering is extremely useful page numbers uh, equation numbers table number chapter number section number anything the even if you have an enumerated list 1 2 3 4 5 you want to refer to the fifth point in that list somewhere so you can refer to that in the list point number 5 is this then it doesn't matter who comes and changes whether your friend partner whoever your enemy adds one line removes one line it is still the same okay so it's very good for group effort okay the next was about citation somebody said citation right citation citation is very useful because um, sometimes you write a paper you send it and the paper says that the journal author says editor says uh, this is not good enough uh, you know send it somewhere else or even in the same journal he says this is fine we are happy with your work but we need to have the referencing in a different style what style do you all use have you used bibliography have you used bibtech okay in case you haven't used i wanted to show you so that's why i picked so you see uh, in our web page spoken hyphen tutorial.org um, by the way we have got uh, many awards for this effort if you go there you can see the links for this in fact google thought that it was a you know very good idea what we are doing and they gave a research award so what you have to do is from this pull down menu you choose latex we dub the spoken part into many indian languages so you can choose english here the search and then it gives you um, 12 videos here it gives a playlist it gives you the order in which you have to listen to okay so we have one of them called uh, so by the way how many of you use windows other people use the linux okay very good happy with that so for windows people also it is useful you can uh, run the same thing uh, you can uh, take the source code just put it into you know suppose you decide to switch over to linux and no problem whatever you generated take the all the source file copy it it will work without any problem um, several years ago i switched over from a linux machine to mac and then i had by the time already written a book on uh, optimization which i didn't which i am not circulating i just took the same thing i just have to define the default directory in linux it is slash home something something username whereas in uh, mac it is default directory is slash users uh, something so i ha just had to create a symbolic link that whenever it looks for slash home it should go to slash users that's the only change i had to make then let a compile without any other change the whole thing worked without any problem so that kind of thing is not possible in any other machine so anyway coming back latex on windows what is compiling is the by the way these are all about 10 minute tutorials um, so i would want you to read in case anybody is interested in learning latex um, you learn using this how to establish using techworks we recommend techworks how many of you use techworks is there anybody okay of course i always use emacs and pdf latex you are welcome to use in case you want to use an editor for this purpose i recommend techworks because it works on mac it works on windows it works on linux all three okay so that you don't even have to learn the editor that integrated development environment if you change your um, system what is compiling letter writing report writing mathematical typesetting 
uh, equations. So, let me just show you what mathematical typesetting looks like. Welcome to this tutorial on basic mathematics typesetting using LaTeX. Notice three windows, match dot. Let me advance it a little bit. I am not sure whether you can Similarly, see. Similarly, we write beta, gamma, delta and so on. Let us see what happens when we compile this. Let me use it in uh, open it in uh, Chrome because I am unable to something. Uh, something One can get a complete list of such symbols from standard textbooks on LaTeX or from the internet. We will next take up the concept of spaces in mathematical expressions. Before we do this, let us delete these. Welcome to this tutorial on basic mathematics typesetting using LaTeX. So, let me advance it a little bit. Gamma, delta and so on. Let us see what happens when we compile this. So, you can see that um, the way uh, the way I have created this um, tutorial, in fact I created them myself, you can also see that I generated them in 2007, okay, because some students of mine wanted, you know, said can you please create some tutorials, we have difficulty in using LaTeX, we know it is very good, but we have a tough time using it, can you please create it, so that is when I created most of them, uh, TechWorks was uh, created by my staff member, I will use this. Then I say equations, tables and figures. How many of you have used Beamer? Some of you have used Beamer. Beamer is very nice because it is useful to make presentations. Okay? The same equations can be used. Same thing cut and paste from your LaTeX document into this with some minor adjustment you will see that it flies. Bibliography is something that I would recommend. It will increase your productivity immensely. Once again you might have in your thesis, you might have 50 references and then you suddenly found some other author you wanted to insert, okay. At the time of examination, somebody says you missed out this important reference, you should include. All your numbering changes, alphabetical order changes, whatever it is, then you can uh, accommodate uh, directly, okay. So, this is to whatever equations and uh, numbering and so on. Okay, now let us go to the next point, somebody said you can define, you can define your own commands, right, that is what you mentioned, right, who said that, yeah, because we are just still going through advantages of LaTeX, okay, I think we will probably finish this uh, lecture just by discussing that, okay, um, it is, uh, LaTeX is a, uh, you know it is programmable, you can define your own, uh, your own commands, okay, very powerful. Uh, I am going to illustrate this with a uh, command that I as a teacher, as a faculty member use extensively, okay, day in and day out. Um, suppose I give a question paper, let us say a quiz, conduct a quiz or a midterm exam. So, I have questions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on and then I have answers for them also. Okay, I want to keep the question and answer together. By the way, how many of you are teachers who taught in some class or other, some college or other? Is there anybody? There is nobody? Okay. Yeah, you will find once you become a faculty member, you will find immense use for this because over a period of time, you set lot of papers, and you have lot of answers also for that. For every question, you have an answer, right? But 
at the time of exam you don't want to release the answer to them so you want to suppress all the answers and give it but when the exam is over you want to unsuppress you want to give all the answers okay so for that there is a very nice command very simple command i'll also explain that command but i will first demonstrate it so this is uh, mid semester exam we just concluded last week so i'll show with that been exams um here two zero one six exams Okay, don't worry about all the equations and so on. Let me just show you this. So this is my mid-semester exam. You can see question. I have answer also. Similarly, second problem. There is a question here, and then the answer comes. Now this I wrote. so that we can start the grading i gave it to my ts start the grading here is the solution for the question now what i can do is if i go and change this i have a command called eat answer right i have removed that that means it's going to eat the answer so what i will do is i don't want to correct it in front of you let me do this for big quiz 02 big quiz dot tech and let me close this close this can be corrected just that it will take couple of minutes 02 f actually i should do 01 okay i'll take that Well, I like this because it comes in two columns. So once again, you can see that problem, question, answer. Similarly, question two, answer, and so on. Now, what I will do is I'll eat the answer. Okay. Compile it. and you see the whole thing has come in one page right it's very useful to teachers all the pay, all the exams that i have conducted since the time i found this command i have got solutions otherwise i'll have to search i generated 100 equations in the last 5 years but i don't know which answer is for which question okay because you will have two versions one for keeping question and answer another one to give it to the students the moment you have two versions there are management problems you make a correction in one you forget to correct the other one right here it is the same version used yeah. so let me just show you what i do by the way this was actually suggested to me by professor sudarshan your head right so we have a small group of people we discuss with each other and then we get better learning from each other's experience let me so here is a new command called quest okay what does it say it has what is in square bracket says it has one command it has one argument it has one argument and then that argument is referred to as hash1 how is the hash1 to be used we just put it it puts it in braces so you see here this one says there is one argument this one says this one refers to that hash1 
But what does it say? It says nothing, just use it. So, so I have something like, here is the question. Question this, up to this. So for example, if I close this, it shows that. Do you see that? See the cursor? So that is a question. So that is quest. The whole thing, so if I say slash uh, quest, it will, it, it just, this whole thing is argument one. Entire thing within the braces is argument one. It says just put it there. Okay? All right. Now I have a also a command called eat quest. Okay? What does eat quest do? Eat quest says inside the braces nothing. See this? I am renewing command quest, but now it has nothing in it. Okay? You understand? So let me show that. What happens if I eat the question also? Nothing. Whatever else I had done manually has come, but all questions also disappeared because I have eaten them. The same thing you have to do for answer also. So it allows me to show only questions or only answer or both. Why would I show none of course? Okay. So I would not do that. So it is very useful to me and I, so if I want to put only answer, I have only answer. Right? So, it is a very powerful thing. This is just an example of what you can do in. Now, I will undo both of them. So, now I have question and answer. Oops. Okay, here is the question. Here is the question and here is the answer. Right? Do you follow? So, it is a very powerful uh, uh, thing. Okay, any other advantages of LaTeX? Any other advantage you can think of? You want to point out? Okay. So, I changed my presentation because you already know LaTeX. I do not want to go through this. I want you to just see the beauty of LaTeX. It is a very beautiful thing. It allows you to do all kinds of fantastic things. Right. Um, so I have five minutes. So what I want to do is, um, I know that many of you are from various colleges. Um, in your college, does anybody use LaTeX? If anybody says that in your college they use LaTeX, I would like to know. Which college? IIT Jodhpur. Okay. AMU, okay. Kannur, okay. Kannur, of course, Kerala is uh, Linux, uh, I mean, open source people, yeah. COEP, okay. Plenty Kanchipuram, okay, very good. ISI Kolkata, okay. NIT Calicut, okay. Sangli, okay, very good. So, what I would like to do is, I would, now that you all, you are all using LaTeX, I would, uh, where are you from? Yeah, BJTI, okay. Uh, now that you are using LaTeX, I would want you to share this with your colleges, okay. You share this information with your colleges, using your UG colleges, using spoken tutorial, they can all learn, okay. Let me show you some uh, statistics in uh, LaTeX use. See these statistics? Training. So we have trained uh, 
11 lakh students using spoken tutorials on various IT topics. Here the topic is of course only LaTeX. Let me just filter. We have trained 62,000 people around the country on the use of LaTeX and it turns out that most of them are college teachers. Most of them are pursuing their higher studies. They write, they do MTech, they do PhD, they have to write a report, they have to send paper, they have to make presentation, they have to write their thesis. They find this very useful. And you can see that various uh, places across the country people are using. So here is somebody, Kerala, Kottayam, Kottayam. So view participants, you can actually see who did this, Anuj Muhammad did this. And these are the people who underwent this workshop, right? So we have a lot of information, you can see this. So what I want you to do is to see, uh, I want you to show where the help is available so that you can ask your college teacher to contact them and our people will be happy to conduct this workshop in LaTeX for your college students, your colleagues, your undergraduate friends. So you see the software training, here there is something called about the training, okay, go there, okay, it actually tells about how this training is, what are the different topics available, what is the procedure and so on. But finally, at the end, gives a list of people who take care of various states. In our work, in our team, we have people for every state, their email address and phone number. We just share this information with your friends and so are your teacher. They can organize this for all your colleges. Okay. There is one other thing, there is one other question I want you to ask. Okay, quick question. How many of you in your college has internet connectivity in every computer? So that you can simultaneously watch videos in your lab. Okay, I see few hands going up, but not many. Thank you. So for that, there is something called create your own disk image. You can say advanced C, all levels. Okay, advanced C is not there. Let's say bash, all levels. How many of you know bash? No, it is still downloading. Okay, so using this, it normally works. Using this, you can add selected files, you can create zip file, and that zip file can be copied into every machine, unzip, and then open the index.html, it will open like uh, from the file system, but you don't need internet. It gives the entire playlist, the whole thing, whole environment is set up. So you may want to point to these two features to your colleges so that they can start using LaTeX. So I want to thank you. Thanks for thanks for listening to me. Sorry for exceeding time limit. Okay. Goodbye.